Hi everyone, welcome to another video of the Bringing on Earth video series. As you can see from the title, today we are talking about forgiveness. So my name is Lepa, I'm your sophrology practitioner. I will first let you know what we will be talking about during this video and then I will go into the content of it. First of all, I would like to read a passage for you about the unforgiving mind from A Course in Miracles. Then I'm going to talk about the reasons why I decided to do this video for you today. I'm going to talk about my perspective on the subject, the work I have been doing, the importance of it, what happened once I did this work and then I'm going to share a few techniques with you that you can start implementing immediately and work with and on forgiveness. Let's start with the passage that I promised about the unforgiving mind from A Course in Miracles and it says, the unforgiving mind is full of fear and offers love no room to be itself, no place where it can spread its wings in peace and soar above the turmoil of the world. The unforgiving mind is sad, without the hope of respite and release from pain. It suffers and abides in misery, peering about in darkness, seeing not, yet certain of the danger lurking there. The unforgiving mind is torn with doubt, confused about itself and all it sees, afraid and angry, weak and blustering, afraid to go ahead, afraid to stay, afraid to waken or go to sleep, afraid of every sound, yet more afraid of stillness, terrified of darkness, yet more terrified at the approach of light. I hope you liked this passage and I hope it will inspire some thinking, some questioning about the subject that we are about to address today. Let me tell you about the reasons why I decided to film this video for you today and why I think it's very important to address this issue at this particular moment in time. Recently, around the holidays, I think it was just after the holidays, the holidays of the end of the year, I've posted a post on my Facebook page, Amazing Consciousness, that got so many interests, so many likes and so many shares and so many comments that it was a clear sign to me that this is a very important issue, an issue a lot of people are dealing with at this moment. And I also observed a lot of things around me, like I heard some stories of people I know, some rigid personalities, some criticism, judgment, negativity, people acting from past hurts, especially and mostly from their childhood. And all of that have been signs and synchronicities for me that led me to do this video for you today. It is more than clear to me that the old need to finally be released from our systems and make space for the new to emerge and to take place and space in our lives. People are not to choose a different path, in my opinion, than the one they are used to walk on, take different actions, react differently, because faced with conscious people that have already done the work and that will send them love and light and blessings instead of hurt and anger and frustration and pain in response to their behavior, 
they will hopefully ask themselves what is actually going on. In my practice and my daily life, I still meet people that are so hurt and carry this anger and this frustration and this sadness with them, allowing it to still direct their lives and are still not open to the possibility of forgiving past situations and people in their lives or forgiving themselves for that matter. And this always makes me very sad and I often wonder what can I do or say to those people so that they understand the importance of forgiveness. The first thing would be that I too was there and I know how it feels to carry this vulnerable and angry inner child and act and react from there attracting more hurt and more pain and more frustration and anger because that's what we are doing you know when we act and react from our past hurts and pain we uh, we attract more more of it you know if we think negatively we attract negativity if we think positively we attract positivity the second thing is that i as many people at one point was also trying anything and everything and even though it was working on some levels i was still ending up being anxious and nervous and angry and frustrated until i hit the bottom and realized that maybe what's still missing in my work is working with resolving this anger and this anxiety and this you know, hurt and frustration and addressing my inner child and open myself to forgiveness, forgiving others, but also forgiving myself because to my humble opinion, they are both equally important for our overall well-being. And it is extremely important to understand and to realize this as well. As soon as I did this work with my inner child and with forgiveness, I felt like a huge black cloud and burden has been lifted from above my head and my shoulders and I can now say that I am finally free and feel lighter. And ever since, I have been able to open myself to the creative power and forces of the universe and start doing this work but not before and until I addressed these issues and have come to terms with them. What I would like to share, I didn't plan to share it initially but yesterday as I was rehearsing my content that I wanted to share in this video with you, I suddenly started speaking about that and I stopped and I was like, oh, okay. So you want me to talk about this, it's probably important. So I will share something very personal with you, something that might shock some people that know me and that wasn't expecting this or some that were maybe expecting it. But another thing that might come as shocking is that you normally don't hear what I'm about to share with you about this issue. So I just went through a divorce. The divorce has just been pronounced these days after only one month of our passing in front of a, the judge. Normally it takes like three months in Belgium. But, um, but so that's why I also, you know, when I heard myself talking about it yesterday when I was rehearsing, uh, I thought it's important to share this message and I'm like oh, okay maybe that's why it has been pronounced so soon <laughs> because I was about to do this video. What I wanted to say is that the divorce I've been through was so peaceful and so calm and so friendly and we are now friends and decided to be friends for as long as possible. Our marriage lasted for 15 years and we have been together for 18 years, so it's a long period. It was not a, an easy decision to make, but we have come to realize we've parted in separate ways and it was 
at one point obvious to both of us that we should also separate physically. So we did that. What I want to say is that it would not have been, I would not have been able, we would not have been able to go through it so peacefully and smoothly and, you know, do it as friendly as possible if I was not doing the work I was doing on myself for so many years. And also this work included, of course, forgiveness. So forgiving my former partner and also forgiving myself. For those of you who went through a divorce or who are considering going through a divorce, I hope you will remember this because for me, there was no other way to do it than the way we did it. And I consider it to be my greatest life achievement so far. So beyond any income beyond any career move i consider this to be my greatest achievement of all and i share that in my book that is about to come out by the end of this year hopefully if not before and so you can read a little bit more about it and about some other things in my book soon, very soon, <laughs> hopefully. What I also want to share with you is that, and what I think is very important and even crucial to understand, to be even able to accept the possibility to let go of the anger and the rage and the frustration, is that you are not doing this work for the other person, but you're doing it for yourself. You are the one who is feeling hurt and who's feeling sad and enraged and heavy and angry and anxious and frustrated most of the time, not the other person, or maybe they are, but that's not your problem to solve. You need to release all that from your system, especially if you feel you are being called to do this work I am doing and join the new age being born slowly but surely. There will be no place, in my opinion, for that heaviness there and we need to shed and shake off all that old conditioning if we want an entrance ticket to heaven on earth at all. Now, what if I told you that you're still entitled to think and feel that what has been done to you was not fair or right, that you can but do not have to keep, if you don't wish to, keep contact with the people that hurt you, even if they are, you know, family members, there is still a way for you to either take distance or set clear boundaries with these people, or both if you wish. And always remember and bear in mind that you are doing this work for yourself and not for the other one. You are releasing and setting yourself free from the chains of the past that you have allowed to rule your life for so long. Why would you keep going on like this? Wouldn't you want to take complete control of your life and be the master of your destiny? I'm sure you do. But that requires some work, some dedication and some discipline on your sides. I urge you to decide now to stop feeding this angry wolf or dog, if you prefer, and start feeding the one that always wishes only the best and the highest good for you. And last but not least, know that this is an ongoing process as we always have someone or something or ourselves to forgive about something. So we are human beings and we make mistakes. It has always been like that. It is like that. And it will always be like that because we are, you know, spiritual beings having a human experience. And once you are done with this work, you will not only feel lighter, but you will also feel happier and more optimistic and more positive. And even your health will improve if you are having and dealing with health issues. This is more than one good reason to convince you how important 
this work is. I hope so. With this being said, let me now teach you a few techniques that you can start implementing right now. So the first one is, and all of these techniques I have been using for myself and I'm teaching other people to use them and do this work. So first of all, uh, what I would teach you as a technique is write a letter to that other person or those other people that hurt you. And while writing this letter, try to be as neutral as possible. No blame, no shame, no criticism, no judgment. Just tell it like it is. Tell it like, you know, what happened, how it made you feel, how it had impacted your life and what you needed and or still need now so that this situation resolves. End the letter by stating that you are now ready to let go of this situation, that you are releasing this person from any karmic consequences that this situation might have created between the two of you, because you don't want to carry this with you from lifetime to lifetime, if you believe in reincarnation. This is very difficult at the beginning, but with practice you will get there. Trust me, because if I can, you can too. <laughs> In case you really have difficulties to arrive there, I would kindly suggest you learn about non-violent communication first. At the end, you are free to either send the letter to the person or burn the letter. You can do this ceremonially or not, by creating a ritual or not, and releasing it into the universe. You can do the same in a what we call a soul-to-soul -soul meditation. So a soul-to-soul -soul meditation is basically a meditation where you will invite the other person mentally to sit in front of you from a manageable distance. And if the person was and still is naughty, with you, you might wish to place an energetic protection over and around you and distance yourself even further from this person in the meditation. And then you will announce that you wish to talk to this person and start explaining the situation just like in your letter. So being neutral, no criticism, no judgment and no blame and shame. You will just give facts of what happened. And then you might wish to share how it felt for you and how it has impacted your life, just like in the letter. And at the end, make your intention to forgive this person clear to the other person. You might wish to do cutting off ties at the same time, but this is a very long exercise for me to explain it here. So I will leave it for maybe another video or you can try to find it on internet or wait for my book to come out and read about it there. Another very powerful exercise for forgiveness and especially if and when you need to and wish to forgive yourself, but you can also use it on others, is the Ho'oponopono prayer from the Hawaiian people. Ho'oponopono means to make right. And here's how this one works. So you First, close your eyes and breathe deeply into your heart. You can place your hand on your heart and you repeat the following to yourself. Once you are clear what and who you wish to forgive and need to forgive. And sometimes even when you don't, when you're not clear. So you say, I'm sorry, please forgive me. Thank you. I love you. I sometimes do this at night before I fall asleep and I would say to whom it may concern and then I would repeat I'm sorry please forgive me thank you I love you I'm sorry please forgive me thank you I love you this soothes me and calls me and helps me to sleep better there are other techniques and tools regarding forgiveness I could at least share one more but once my book is out you'll be able to find out about this one too and in the meantime, you can practice those that I shared in this video I just told you about and release yourself once and for all from the burden you're carrying on your shoulders for so long because you deserve it.
If you have any questions or should you wish to share your experience with the exercises or share other exercises that you've been doing, that you are doing, or make some comments, you are welcome to share that in the comment section below the video. And please share this video because you never know who in your community might need to hear this information at this moment. If you have been inspired by and touched by this video, if you have been called to help me bring heaven on earth and help us together bring heaven on earth, you can make donations to help me publish my book in case no other publisher decides to publish it then I will self-publish my book. But also, what I want to do is to make a movie out of it later on. And so I need a financial support for that. So if you are called to do so, you can go to my personal Facebook page or my professional Facebook page, which is called Amazing Consciousness. And you can find the fundraiser there. You can also do that on LinkedIn. I have posted on LinkedIn the GoFundMe fundraiser that I've created. You can also go to my website, amazingconsciousness.com. I will share the links below this video. So you can just click on it or copy paste the link. You can go to my website, amazingconsciousness.com. Under the services section, down below you have the payment options and so you can make a donation there. Thank you for watching this video, for uh, making a donation eventually and help us all bring heaven on earth. I hope for you that you are or you will be open to do some forgiveness work and release yourself from all the burden you have been carrying for so long. Thank you for sharing this video. I'll see you soon with some new content and a new project that I'm preparing and about to start very soon. Thank you. Namaste.